Hi, welcome. My name is Peter Ross. I'm from the Netherlands and I was asked to uh, give you a short story on, uh, on artificial intelligence and uh, give you some insights. Uh, for the past 20 years, I've been exploring the impact of emerging technologies on both organizational and human behavior. One of the key questions I always get on AI is when will a specific part of my industry be disrupted by AI? Well, this is a pretty hard question and I don't, I don't think you can answer it specifically. But um, as I am not a food expert and you are, let me take you on a short journey on the dynamics of technology so you can make a reading of, uh, of the, the, the disrupting path of AI on your specific part of the industry yourself. Think of, the, think of it this way. The dynamics of technology has gone from automating muscle power to automating calculating power um, and where we are now automating the power of intelligence. At least we are trying to harvest the powers of intelligence and automate them by computers and smart algorithms. And as the web ties it all together, ideas and data and knowledge travel from A to B almost effortless. So the web is speeding up all these emerging technologies. AI is speeding up almost every pro uh, process that involves data analysis. This can be data on consumer behavior, uh, machine maintenance, or comparing nutrients on an atomic level. Not only the process of analyzing is being automated, the real advantage is in the predicting part. Like, when will consumer want which amount of a specific product, product at what location? Or, when and how intense does a piece of machinery need maintenance so it doesn't break down? Or, what composition of plant-based ingredients can replace the animal uh, based ones. A huge part of the food industry will be affected by AI, from designing to producing and from distribution to sales. Which part of the chain will be the first to be uh, disrupted? It will be those parts where uh, a lot of data is available, because data is the fuel of any self-learning system. In order to design an AI strategy, I would advise you to take a look at industries where uh, AI already made it, its mark. Like search engines. If you see what Google does with image recognition, or what Google's DeepMind does with the energy reduction of Google's new uh, server plans, that's pretty amazing. Looking outside the box can really help you recognize chances for your own business, because they already went down the path and made the mistakes that you don't have to make again. And, of course, it can uh, give you some idea of the possibilities and maybe be uh, inspiring for action. So here's my five cents on designing an AI strategy. Step one, free your mind from the status quo that you are currently living in. Look outside the industry. There's a lot of interesting reading and viewing material on the web. You don't have to travel. You don't have to go uh, places. Just be curious and get yourself informed. Step two, if not already, get your company data aware. Harvest and enrich as many data as you can find. Not only from your own systems, but also, and here comes step three, team up with partners in the chain. Share data, align your intentions, and help each other to be the best in the industry from A to Z. Step four, create feedback loops. Don't steer on assumptions. Experiment, pivot, and then persevere. It's not about being the first. It's about doing the right thing on the right time. So remember, get data aware, experiment, and learn from your actions. I wish you lots of success and hope to see you soon in the near future. Thank you very much.